Is this the end of the LA luxury market? There are so many homes in the past year, year and a half that have dropped so much in LA, in Beverly Hills, and Hancock Park. I'd like to share with you what's happening in Hancock Park, especially with our luxury market. Let's talk. There's been many homes that have been on to the market that fell off the market, that came back on, and price reduce, 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 reduce. We've seen properties from 15 million that sold for 7.7. .7. Perfect example, Lorraine. Kat Von D's house came out to the market. She bought it, she rehabbed the property, put it back to the market, bought it for six plus, put it on the market for 15.5, and we all watched it reduce, 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 reduce. It ended up selling for 7.7 .7 million. That is horrible. And that was a 12,000 square foot home, beautiful home, amazing, amazing home. Uh, so that's one example. And so, okay, that's one, but did it happen again? Yes, it did. Another property, 315 South Hudson, was a complete rehab. It was a modern home. There's not many modern homes in Hancock Park because people move here because they love the history and it's beautiful. The architecture is like no other here in Hancock Park because I live here. I love it here. This property was what's called non-conforming. It was not an H Pods property. H Pods, Historic Preservation Overlay Zone. That's what you get in Hancock Park and Windsor Square if you buy here. There's about 1,100 homes in Hancock Park and then 100 of them are non-conforming. This one on Hudson was converted to a modern. Beautiful, beautiful, big property, had a tennis court, came out at 25 million, reduced to 23, 20, 19, 18, 17 million, and it sold for 13.5. That is a huge, huge reduction from what their expectations were with these investors coming in. You gotta be very careful. But that is the second property and a second example of our luxury market really taking a hit. Another property, 165 Hudson. And again, sellers and buyers, if you're buying in a, a proper, in, in an area like this, you need to use an agent that knows this area. All of these properties that reduce, reduce, reduce were out of area agents. They were Beverly Hills agents. They were not from Hancock Park. So that's one key thing. All of them have that in common. So let's talk about 165 South Hudson. I sold the property five years ago. We got 10 point, no, for 9.7 million. 9.7 million five years ago for this beautiful Paul Williams home, gorgeous house, and we got 9.7. Then they sell the property, they put it on the market for 10.5 last year, reduce, nine, reduce, reduce, reduce. It sold from 10.5 down to 7.7 .7 million. That is a huge drop and their expectations crazy. Again, it's, it's very important to know what your home is valued at because you can chase the market down, 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 and it's key to price your home right and get multiple offers and push it up. Another property on Hudson was the Osbournes, Ozzy Osborne. His property came to the market around 18, 19 million, reduced to 17. They took it off the market. Another property that was a huge, huge, beautiful one, this beautiful Tudor, the 100 block of North Hudson came to the market at $24 million. It sold for 12 million uh, a few years ago. They rehabbed the property over the years, came back to the market at 24, did not get their number, and they took it off the market. So this is a perfect case study of what is happening with our luxury market. Now, what's happening to the medium market around the $6 million range? Again, $6 million for a 12,000 square foot home on Lorraine that came out at $15 million, sold for $7.7. .7. That was a giveaway. And, and I'll tell you, here's an example I'm going to share with you. I took one of my great clients to see that home. And when the agent, which was not the agent showing the home, it was an assistant. We asked how many bathrooms were on the first floor. They could not answer. How many fireplaces are on the first floor? They couldn't answer. People, when you're hiring an agent, they need to know the history of the house, how many bathrooms, all of that. And that was just stupidity. And But, hey, it was from 15 to 7. I guess, you, you know, what do you get for that? 
It's nuts. You've got to know these properties. Anyway, it just frustrates me. Forgive me. But it is a trend of what's been going on with our luxury market. Beverly Hills is doing the same thing. Beverly Hills are coming off the market. They're reducing their prices. And, and you know, we're talking about the Bird Streets. We're talking about Beverly Hills, Bel Air, all of those, Truesdale Estates. These properties are adjusting. So we, we're seeing it. But listen, Los Angeles is an international market. We're still going to do good. But is L.A. luxury market on sale? Yes, it is. To, got, to buy a 9,000 square foot house for 7.7 .7 under 1,000 a foot, it's crazy. And that Paul Williams home, it was a beautiful home. Let's talk about what's on the market. There are many properties that are back to the market, but also they're reducing their prices. Uh, let's talk about 201 South Rossmore. Completely rehabbed, bought it in the 5.9 million. They rehabbed it, came back to the market for 12 million. Now they're down into the nines. It still has not sold. 211 South Muirfield. I love this property. It was Howard Hughes's old house. Great house, beautiful. But again, came to the market 24 million. Now they're down to 19 and it still has not sold. Let's talk about, of course, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, Muhammad Ali. That's right, Muhammad Ali's house at 55 Fremont Place came to the market five years ago. It came to the market at 17 million. This property on the market for 17, a year, two years, three years, did not sell, has reduced, reduced, reduced. Now it's down at 13 million. And then I just saw the other day, they reduced from 13 down to $8 million. Now, this is an auction. So this may be a strategy, what they're doing. And auctions are a little bit wonky. You never know, but I don't know what their reserve is on this. But the trend is here. It's a case study. We are seeing the luxury market coming down and it's on sale in LA. So if you're watching me in Europe, Asia, anywhere over the world, you want to buy a property in Los Angeles, we're on sale. Come and do it now. Give me a call. So that's Fremont. That, that's such a beautiful property. And a little quick note, Rocky, if you're a Rocky fan, when Rocky, not Rocky 1, but maybe Rocky 2 or 3, when he made all of his money and he bought a big house, well, they shot his new mansion at Muhammad Ali. So this house was in Rocky two or three, but it was really great. Another property, 435 South Plymouth. It's on the market for 9.8. It came to the market and it sold 10.7 million. So they came out at 10.7. Now they're down at 9.8. So they're down a reduction of 900,000. Um, this is a gorgeous property. Each of these properties are beautiful. They're, they're, they're gorgeous. Last but not least, 425 South Plymouth. That was a property that was completely rehabbed. Beautiful. They did such a great job to this property. Um, and it was at 20 million. They had 20 million and it sold for 16. So that's 4 million below. This is what's been happening. And so, again, if you're considering selling your property because I'm going to appointments where people are just, we're going to hold, but I'm also going to properties and these big homes that, Hey John, we want to, we don't, we want to reduce. We don't want this big property anymore. And Hancock park is perfect for that. We have the three, we have the mansions, we have the mid section homes, and then we have the smaller homes, the two bedroom, one bath. And they're all within like a walking distance easily. And of course, everyone loves to go to Larchmont. This is the hub, and this was the Beverly Hills before Be Beverly Hills. Everybody moved west back in the 30s and 40s. But in the 1900s to the 20s and 30s, this was the place to be. And guess what? There's a, a reverse migration in L.A. going on right now where the West Siders are moving into L.A. because of downtown. Downtown's 15, 20 minutes from here. This is the central hub. It's a wonderful, wonderful neighborhood. I love living here. I love working here. If you have questions about selling your home or buying a house or investing in our neighborhood, give me a call. I know it like no other. I'm John Derler with Hancock Homes. Have a great day.